Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be in English because I'm gonna dye my hair, have all the products here, and maybe Brad Mondo is gonna watch my video because I'm gonna dye my hair watching the video that he did teaching the balayage. I'm a little nervous. Let's just start with that. <laughs> I watched this video two times already. And it's gonna be our third time. Let's do it. Here, you open up his video here. Oh my gosh. Here, my computer. In a sec. And I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I got. I got it all from Amazon. So first is this little bag. So here we have this. And then there's this. What is this for? I don't need that. I got a lot of this. This protects my ears. And I already dry my hair. And as, as you can see, I have some color in my hair. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. So we just pretend that I don't have any color. And hopefully my hair won't fall. And won't break. And then it comes with this brush. It's super fluffy, so I think that's good. This I don't really know what it's for, but it came together. And that's it. And there's gloves. So here, I got this, and this one's volume 40. Brad usually uses 30, but my hair is super dark and thick, very, very thick, so I got 40 because of it. In the back of the package, and the back of this thing, doesn't say how much of each I have to use. So I'm just gonna make a creamy consistency. I put in this bowl, make sure I don't know the drill. I cut some aluminum foil. Brad doesn't use it in his video, but he knows what he's doing and I don't. Let's see. So if you want to learn how to do easy balayage, then follow me. Let's do it. That's so awesome. Okay, so here he says about Olaplex. I did use Olaplex, not the one for doing the stuff. No, it's just the one to hydrate and strengthen the hair. So I already used it uh, two days ago or something like that. And my hair is like super healthy and strong, like the bomb. So let's start pouring the powder. Oh my gosh, it's blue. Is it like that? This is white. Okay, first package, it's in here. And he says to not do too runny or it's not gonna stain the hair, it's gonna run. And to not leave it too creamy or it can stain the hair, I guess. So, I mean, not too creamy, too thick. So I need to make it creamy. Mine is blue and his is white. So I'm a little scared. <sighs> Strong. Okay, so this is the consistency of mine. I think it's good. I don't think it's enough, but I'm not gonna make more right now. I'm just gonna make more as I need. I have four packages. I'm gonna divide my hair in four, and hopefully I'm gonna need just one package for each part. So we shall see. Okay, so I'm not gonna part in the middle because I don't want my hair in the middle. Yeah, I don't want my hair in the middle. So, just as usual, I'm looking here because my mirror is here. So I'm 
I feel like it's not fully saturated. It's good, it's good the way it is. So my camera stopped recording, but I just did this part here in the bottom. Now I'm gonna do this other one. Brad said that it took him 15 minutes to do the whole back. For me, it's around 15 minutes, just a quarter of my hair. Let's do the rest. I'm gonna finish this part here and then I'll be back. Okay, are you guys ready? Because I'm about to show you the result. Oh my gosh. You guys have no idea what I've, I've been through. I have no idea. <laughs> so first, I think my phone knew that it wouldn't be a good idea to do what I did to my hair, so it stopped recording. But I'm about to show you some pictures. Brad, if you're watching me, sit down. If you're not sitting down because you're about to have a heart attack. <laughs> so this is a picture of how it looked the first time I bleached my hair. As you can see, I was super scared of doing my roots because you know the roots, the roots um, process faster. So I was super scared. I didn't go to the roots and it turned out like this. So I was like, okay, I have to redo this. <laughs> so I had to bleach my hair one more time. Yeah, we had. Lucky me, I had prepared my hair. My hair was super strong and healthy and all this stuff. So I did it one more time and I went to the roots this time. So the second time I did, I couldn't separate the dark part to the part I had bleached already. So I ended up bleaching even more of my hair and ended up like this. So like, like a chick, like a, you know, chick, chick. I was super, super yellow, everything yellow. And I was like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? 
So like I have bleached my hair twice. And I was scared of bleaching again, but at least I kind of fixed the roots. As you can see, like it's still a little dark, but it's okay now. Um, so I went to Sally's Beauty and I got a toner. I got the T35. Cause I didn't want my hair grayish, so I was like, I'm not gonna get a T18. I see a lot of people talking about the T18, but I didn't know what was gonna do to my hair. So I got the T35 and it turned out like this. So first, what I didn't like was the top here because it's super orangey still, but I think I kind of like it. I don't know, like it didn't break my hair. So I'm gonna post a picture here of the brush, how it turned out. I didn't clean the brush. So that, that was all of the hair that fell off. So I'm glad, I'm super happy about it. So I hope friends. It's proud of me. <laughs> My husband was making fun of me saying that I cannot even pronounce Brad Mando's name because I say bread, bread, not bread, bread. He's like, you don't even know how to pronounce his name. Are you gonna know how to dye your hair like he does? No, but you know, if you open my hair, you see that it's like, ooh, you don't wanna see that, you know, like, but. We're not gonna open my hair. We're gonna use it like this and it's all good. And I know I cannot use in a ponytail either because then you're gonna see all this stuff. No one wants to see that. I don't wanna see that. So that's it. Okay, so here I am a week later after I did all this to my hair. Uh, my hair's like this. Now, I kind of like it. I'm still going to the salon to, to fix it because there's some parts, let me see, that are staying. Anyway, I can't find it right now, but it doesn't look good. Uh, just the top looks good, but anyway. One thing I did, I used this shampoo here because it was very orangey in this area. I just really liked it. I like this part because it's like darker. But here was way too light and very bright, so I used this shampoo. It really, really, really helped. I kind of like it now, but I'm still gonna fix it tomorrow, and then I'll show you guys the final result. <laughs> Um, don't try to do what I did. Just, you know, use this video as a good laugh reference, but not as a, I'm gonna bleach my hair reference. <laughs> See you guys next video, bye.